R words. I don't know at this point. I've used up too many for NaNoWriMo. Okay, it is just after two in the morning, but I just hit my daily word count, which is exciting. There are my stats. I'm at 17.45. This is my nice little graph of one point that you honestly can't even see that it's there. You know what this means though, is that I get to put a sticker in my bullet journal because I hit my daily word count. And I got these new panda stickers. They're so cute. So I'm gonna leave it blank for now because I'm still gonna write later today after I sleep. But I get to put this sticker on day one. Let's see what sticker am I gonna do. I'm gonna do just a cute little panda head, I think. Yay! It's November 1st at almost 4 o'clock. It's 3.44 right now. And right now I'm sitting at 41.98. So 4,000, almost 200 words. I have, how many did I say? Like, pff, math. A little over 800 words left to write until I meet my 5,000 goal, which means I would get to get sushi. So I'm very excited. I'm also sort of hitting a wall. I had to take a break and get some tea. I got this awesome rose lavender tea. It's actually, it's a black tea with rose petals in it, and then I put in a lavender botanical syrup. It's so good, but it's got sugar in it, so I gotta be careful about how much I have that. It's gonna be special occasions, but I figured I deserved an extra push to get me to 5k today. But now I have to really dig in and get the, these last 800 so words done. This year I've noticed it's harder this year than last year just because I'm writing a very different sort of character and I really haven't developed this character's voice yet. So I'm struggling with that. But on the other hand, I feel like I'm doing better this year at really, I guess, pushing myself. Because last year, at this time, I did not have this much written. I found it difficult to force myself to write when I wasn't inspired. And that was something that really came later in the month that I was really able to dig in and find. This year, I found it almost right away just because... I had written up to the point where I knew what happened and then I just had to start making stuff up and a lot of it's bad, but I'm holding myself to my promise from the beginning of the month, which is to write badly on purpose. <laughs> That's just something that I have to do to get the words out is just decide, well, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be really ugly. Nobody's gonna ever wanna read this. This is an awful book and just write it anyway. I mean, I did it a whole bunch last year, and some of it did turn out to be awful, but a lot of it I ended up keeping and thinking, well, I mean, it wasn't the best written, but I can do something with it. So that's what I'm banking on, is that all this awful stuff that I'm writing today is going to be somehow usable <laughs> when I come back to edit it. But I'm going to search up some live streams and see if there's anything going on at the moment and just push myself to the end here because I want to eat sushi.
Update time. Here is my word count to close out day two. I am at 66.76. I spent the rest of the evening after I hit my daily word count editing. So I never did write my total word count from yesterday because I guess I just forgot and I wasn't sure if I was done writing or not when I when I updated so I'm just gonna put that in as five zero zero two and for today I know I'm done writing because I need to go to bed and that is gonna be six seven wait wait a minute is it 67 or 66? Hang on, I gotta check. Welp, I've already ruined everything and it's only day two. 66... 76, that's why. And then I get to add more stickers. Bloop. Yay. Hey guys, it's November 3rd. It's 3.19. I'm like 20 minutes, 25 minutes early for my dermatology appointment. What I want to do is sit in the car and watch YouTube videos. What I'm going to do is pull out my notebook and start writing. I at least want to write until like 3.30. Crap, I got here earlier than I thought. My appointment's at 3.45, it's 3.19, you do the math. There we go. Update for the day. Today is the 4th, and today I wrote 1,764 words, bringing my total for the month to 10,486. I finally hit 10k, which means I'm allowed to have ice cream, but I already had a dessert tonight that was something else, so I'm just going to save my ice cream for when I feel like I really need it. But now it's time to update my word count calendar. 8,722. And then today I got to... 10,486. So today officially starts week two, and technically I am way ahead, which feels great because I know that I'm not you know, trying to hurry to keep up, but also with the added goals that I've put for myself with, like, writing the 1,667 words every single day, it doesn't really make any of my days easier because I still have to hit the same number of words. Today, I've only written, like, 150 words so far. It is already after 7 o'clock. I need to go to bed at 9 which means I need to write almost pretty much all of my words for today in like an hour and a half so that I can get ready for bed and so that I can wake up at five in the morning so that I could write more words before I go to work. I'm struggling a bit. Um, basically, I've gotten to the part in my story where I've written all of the scenes I was excited, I was excited about and that I knew I needed to write and now what's left is the stuff that I don't know what happens. So... It's all my in-betweens, my transitions, all of the scenes that f make the filler of, like, you know, advancing different character arcs. And I'm just, at this point, panicking and trying to write anything that comes into my mind. So, in my hour and a half left, I got myself a beer because I thought, number one, I'm a grown-up and I can make that decision. And number two, it's going to lower my standards and I'll just write more. That's that's the hope anyway. We'll see. Maybe it'll just make me sleepy and then I won't write and write in anything. Fingers crossed. Well, that was painful, but I got through it and now I have a couple days of my bullet journal to catch up on.
So today is the 10th and it's my day off. I was supposed to get a whole bunch of writing done today and I've done a lot of other things but not writing. So I'm going to start now. I have to be kind of quiet because I think my sister is recording a, an ASMR video in the next room over. I need to... See, I have a few goals for today. One is to double my word count today because I haven't actually done that other than my original 5k day. Like, all of my stats have been pretty consistently at par for each day. Also, that will mean that I will hit 20k, which is very exciting. That means I will get my reward of ice cream, and I will also get my reward of getting DoorDash for tomorrow, because I don't have a meal prepped, and I'd rather not hodgepodge together a meal. I want to get something good, like, I want to get a Poke Bowl. But anyway, um, I'm gonna spend the next little bit writing. It's a little after 3.30, and at some point between now and 7 or 7.30, I'm expecting a call to come bring my car to get my tires changed out. So I'm on a unknown timeline from now until then. This is a rather momentous occasion. I have killed my first pen. I opened this at the beginning of Preptober, and it is dead. Well, it's 10.30 at night. I hit my minimum word count today. I got to... I got to 1677, 10 extra words for the day, but I did not get to double my word count, partially because right when I got to like a thousand words, the tire place called for me to bring my car in, and then I brought my notebook with me and wrote like probably 200 words there, and then when I got home and had dinner and had to take a shower and all of that, then I was just exhausted and already an hour past when I was planning on going to bed. So I just punched out the last hundred words that I needed and called it done. So I will try again tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to try and hit my double word count tomorrow because I work tomorrow, but maybe one of these days I'll, I'll get a double word count. As it is though, if I'm staying on track of my minimum word count every single day, I should finish by November 24th, so two, th two days before Thanksgiving, and that was my biggest goal, was to be done before Thanksgiving. The only trouble is, if I want the badge of writing every single day, once I win, do I just still have to keep writing? As it is, I'm so confused about this badge. Let me pull it up here. So these are the badges I'm looking at. And this is the one, it says achieve par every day. So hitting your daily par every single day. Does that mean the 1667 every day? Or does that mean the par that it gives you to hit? So like mine right now is 1473. So like would I still get the badge if I wrote 1473? And the more I write and the more ahead I get, the lower that number's gonna be because at that point, if I get to 50,000 on November 24th, then par would be zero. So would I get the badge still? Or do I have to write 1667 every single day? Plus there's the added problem of what if I finish the book? I want all the badges. Because I'll win all the other ones, I just need that one. Because <laughs> I don't... I, I like to complete things. I don't know. All right, today is November 21st. I feel like I owe you an explanation since I don't think I've vlogged in over a week. I feel like daily vlogging isn't my thing. I do like making videos, but with NaNoWriMo and then having to edit the videos I had already filmed before NaNoWriMo started and plus working full time and everything else, I just feel like Keeping up on vlogs has been just an added challenge that I wasn't really prepared for. I feel like if I was used to daily vlogging every single day, um, I might have been better at it, but since it's such a new thing to me anyway, because I really only started in October, and I wasn't even videoing daily then, it was just too much to keep up on all of it at once. So, 
I figured I'll just do sort of a progress report for today. As of now, I am at 36,548. I have not yet written today. Um, looking at the graph, it shows that I am just about one day ahead, because it looks like tomorrow I should be at 36,674. And so that's just kind of barely above where I'm at, so I'm about a day ahead. Um, I've been just kind of steadily keeping up two days ahead, so if, if I were to write one day's worth, I would be about one day ahead. But I have kept up my daily streak, and it says I only need 815, oh wait, no, it says I've written 815, that's because it's not refreshed. Let's look at that again. There we go. It says I need 1345 words to finish on time. However, my goal is not to finish on time, it is to finish early, and to do that I'm hoping to win on thanks uh, the day before Thanksgiving, which means I need to be done by Wednesday, which means I need to really get moving. My goal is to actually get to 40,000 today, which would mean about 3,500 words today, which would definitely be doubling, getting an extra day ahead. I, right now it's 4.36, just after sundown on Saturday night, and I'm gonna see if I can find a live stream that's going, that's a fairly productive one, because I tend to get sucked into live streams that they just talk the whole time. Um, but hopefully I can find one where that kind of just motivates me to get a lot more done. And I'm gonna try to get to 40,000. I have done it. I hit 40k. I feel really good about this because it's been my second wordiest day through all of NaNo. I wrote 3,570 words today, which is second to my 5k day on the first day. But I was just on a roll today. Like, normally in a 20-minute sprint, I'll get anywhere from, like, 300 words if I'm really not feeling it to like seven or eight hundred words if I'm really on a roll and I got over a thousand during one sprint I got what is it 1031 words in a 20 minute sprint I was kind of like shocked so I guess the words are just really coming out today but now that I've hit my goal I feel like all of my motivation turned off so I'm going to call it quits for tonight and use the rest of this live stream that I'm watching just to clean my room. Because I haven't cleaned my room in days and I'm starting to feel a little claustrophobic in here. <laughs> but good night. I just bought the winter shirt. I have not officially won yet. But also I didn't buy merch when I got to halfway like I planned on doing because there wasn't anything that I wanted enough to spend that much money on it. But now I have to win. I have to. Or else he will be judging me. It's the 23rd and I feel like my hair right now is a good representation of my mental state. I'm supposed to be at 45,000 today. Um, I'm not. It's 8 p.m. and I need to go to bed by 10 if I'm going to wake up tomorrow and write more. And right now I am only at 43,204, which means I need to write almost 2,000 more words today to get back on track. And all of this is because I wanted to win by Thanksgiving, which I was thinking was going to be so easy because I won on Thanksgiving last year. I was thinking... I'm so far ahead more than I was last year at this time, so it's great. I'm going to be even more ahead. I forgot that Thanksgiving was on the 28th last year. It's not on the 28th this year. It's on the 26th this year, so that's a whole two extra days that I need to be ahead past what I had already been ahead. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I keep like going on to different live streams and hoping that somehow I'm going to get inspired to write a whole bunch and it's not doing it for me. So I don't know. 
I guess I'm just gonna have to keep my promise to myself and sit here and be uncomfortable until some words come out. And it hurts, because I know they're gonna be bad words. Bad words, no. Um, they're gonna be unsatisfactory. Unsatisfactory? Dissatisfactory. What are words? I don't know at this point. I've used up too many for NaNoWriMo. You guys, I just did my first live stream ever, which was super exciting. And I'll try to insert a clip of it here. This year's no-go. Oh, I can actually do this thing now. Ha! I know how to do that. Woo! <laughs> I'm so late. See, I have this other thing where I feel like I need to constantly fill the silence with talking and so I just have like awkward time filler things to say and then I'll just all of a sudden forget where my train of thought was going but then my mouth will just keep going and say words that I wasn't intending to say. And guess what? I hit 50,000! I won! So it's much later as I'm filming this now. It's actually December 13th, but I realized I never closed the vlog and just went to edit it and don't have a way to finish it. But yes, I won in Um Throughout the rest of the month, I really just wrote like a couple words every day just so that I could get the badge of writing every day. I was very disappointed that... Um, the rules for the staying on par every day badge changed. I thought that it was supposed to be 1667 words a day and that was what I was doing until I saw from the official person on the NaNoWriMo website that it was only supposed to be staying above the line on the graph, which I did. I stayed on the I stayed above the line, never went below, and I wrote every single day and I did not get that badge because they changed it to being 1667. So that's disappointing because I literally won every single other badge except for that one. So not a fan of how that played out, but I'll get over it. I, I wrote a book, so there's that. I'll probably film another video in these next couple of days. Um, not sure when I'll have it out, but just kind of summing up how NaNoWriMo went and what I'm going to be doing after that. So hopefully you enjoyed my video and let me know in the comments how NaNoWriMo went for you. Did you hit your goals? Did you win? Or, you know, what have you taken away from the month? Thanks for watching.